Hello, hello, it is Dr. Chris Raquel. I'm back again with another video for today. I hope you're having an amazing day. If you are interested in my video content, please like, comment, subscribe. You can also send me an email with any of your concerns related to family dynamics, relationships, or public health, mental health to askcrystalraquel at gmail.com. So I do have a really interesting topic I want to go over today. I feel like this is a topic that a lot of people are concerned about when they're in relationships and when they're dating. It's when is the best time to become exclusive in a relationship? So let's just say as a young lady, you are in the dating world, you're on the market, you are hoping to meet someone and form a stable, nice, consistent relationship bond. So from my perspective, I do base things on the biblical way so i personally do not believe in dating as in boyfriend girlfriend relationships the man is really committing to you once he has put a ring on your finger walked you down the aisle and signed your marriage certificate and you submitted it to your county courthouse however dating um or how people used to call it courtship is when someone is approaching you, they wanna to get to know you and potentially to marriage. You have to be of marriage age to be dating. In another video, I spoke about when the best time to actually date is. I do believe it should be once you've completed your, your college and once your prefrontal cortex has fully developed and that's at age 25, give or take, right? So if it's like 23, um, you know, 22, sure, that's fine. But in terms of actually marriage, about 25 years old. However, of course, if you are, you know, not pursuing a college education, um, that may be a little bit different for you. You may pursue marriage a little bit earlier, but just based on statistics, uh, marriages do last longer for people who marriage later. Um, so people who married marry earlier, sometimes those marriages don't last. Of course, we can go back and back in the day and there were many of people, many people who had long marriages and got married young. We also have to remember the time. Nowadays, people are divorcing more and keep in mind the rights of women were a little bit different back then. So a lot of times there were less divorces because um, if a, even if a woman was unhappy or that's not a reason to divorce being unhappy, but even if something was going on, some sort of ABU occurring within the relationship, like in terms of um, physical or um, uh, sexual, the woman had to stay because she had no other options. Um, and this still happens nowadays, maybe not in the United States as much, but places like Africa, um, it's sometimes difficult for the lady to leave, especially once they're, if they're at home, they don't have an education and they can't care for themselves or maybe their family won't even accept them back. So just saying all this to say, that's about the, that's what I'm talking about in terms of the dating age, dating. Um, but I don't believe in boyfriend, girlfriend relationships. For me, dating is when you meet somebody, you're getting to know them. Um, you're seeing them as a brother or sister in Christ still and um, you're anything that's physical sexual is taken out of the equation and as a young lady you are able to get to know more than one person at once um, however if you're becoming exclusive with someone someone would say it's your boyfriend and girlfriend me personally I don't consider exclusivity um, be meaning that you're in a boyfriend girlfriend relationship I believe you're still getting to know that person um, however, if you're saying you're exclusive with someone, no, you should not be dating multiple people. That is very dishonest and that's wrong. Um, some of you may know that I did date a few people, uh, before I ended up with my husband. Um, there were three people I were dating. I was dating at the time and I probably linked the video below about how to date more than one person at once. However, um, let's just assume that you're exclusive in a relationship with some, not a relationship, it's like you're exclusive. And I'm, maybe I'm not gonna touch, touch so much in this video about dating more than one at a time. So let's say you've gotten to the stage, you've maybe dated a few others and you realize that, that they weren't for you. So you would like to focus on one person as a young lady. Let's go from that perspective. 
you if the other individuals are not for you that is fine you can eliminate them one by one um, make sure it's for good reasons make sure you've gotten to know them enough uh, if for some reason you think that they have a bad temper or they're rude sure eliminate that person that's not gonna bode well for a marriage later on but let's say you're left with just one person and you're like okay this is the only person that's here and I want to be exclusive with them no that's okay for you to now see if there's if there's somebody else interested in you. Let's say you're doing online dating and that person's a believer. If that's um, if you're also a believer in Christ, whatever you believe, that person should have similar beliefs to you. So let's say that's what's happening and you meet somebody else, that's fine. You can also get to know that person. They can also take you out. But let's say you're not meeting somebody online. Let's say you're meeting somebody within a church. That might be a little strange if you seem to be going on, on dates with somebody, a member of your church, and you're also going out with others um, in that type of dating way. But you are free, unless you're married, you are free, or unless they've made a commitment to and giving you a ring you are free to get to know other people and like i said you have to kind of change your mindset in terms of what dating is take out the physical aspect you are as a young lady when you go out on dates you're essentially trying to see whether or not this person is going to be a good fit for a husband it's like an interview for a husband so you should be asking him questions you should come dressed appropriately i'm going to talk about that in another video about dressing like how you should dress on a first date and how you should present yourself online but overall you just want to be making sure that you're presenting yourself in a good way and you're going to be asking him questions about himself i have a video about that as well um also you can get to know a few people at once that's okay but let's say that so my whole point was do not simply say you want to be exclusive with someone because that's your only option um there could be other options and still get to know that person even if there's just one option left for me as i was getting to know um my husband and the two other gentlemen once i eliminated the other two had i not been interested in my husband i would have been open to other people or i would have opened myself up to date others but in this case i really like my husband and I want to continue getting to know him so he had it's good when a man asks you to be exclusive he had wanted to be exclusive with me from the beginning as did another one of the three gentlemen and of course I declined to let him know that I'm trying to find the man that will be my husband one day and that's my that's my purpose in dating so no he continued to pursue me and we continue to get to know one another so um, once I eliminated the other two, I didn't automatically say, okay, I'm going to be exclusive with you now. I still gave myself time. I think I gave myself another another month or so before I decided to just be exclusive, basically letting him know that, okay, I'm, I'm just talking to you and I'm getting to know you um, and we'll go from there. I decided in my mind that I will continue to monitor him and that's what I did for that month or so and I decided okay this is the person that I believe is for me and and then I mentioned before within five and a half months of our first date six months of first communicating with one another my husband proposed and I was married on we were, we were married I said we were married on the anniversary of our first date so uh I'll try to make sure I put a video about that as well down below in terms of how to get proposed to within a certain time frame, what you have to do. So now back to the whole purpose about exclusivity. Um, yeah, if you want a man to be exclusive, you have to do all the right things in terms of dating. If you like him, he should also like you. But if you are so into him, that's not a good thing. Um, when you find, when you are interested in a man, you shouldn't think, oh my gosh, this man is the most beautiful man in the world. Oh my gosh, I have to have him. Um, that's not really a good thing. The man is the one that's supposed to be feeling that way about you. You are a young lady. A man who finds a wife finds a good thing. You should be very confident in who you are and be hoping to fit into his world and become a helpmate to him as the Bible states. But you should not be feeling like, oh my gosh, a man is gorgeous. Because if you look in the Bible, that's not how it was at all. It was usually a man like finding, trying to find the beautiful woman for his life. And he should be looking at you as a precious gem precious diamond uh a treasure so get that out the way if you're feeling that way about the man like oh he's the most finest thing ever um i i, I want him every single girl wants him in this world he is a 1000 out of a 10 um you should probably end a relationship because that's not going to end well for you however the man is the one that should be approaching you for exclusivity as i said my 
husband he had approached me for that early on for when we started dating and he knew what my um my my purpose in dating was and he explained his intentions with me so that is the ideal situation that the man is going to approach you for exclusivity but you don't accept right away you have to get, take some time to get to know him it'll probably take three to six months before you can see all the good bad sides of him and really decide that's one that you want in your life a person can really hide things in those first couple months um okay so let's say he has not asked you to be exclusive um, you're gonna just have to see look see the time frame because a man should ask you to be exclusive within the first three months max if a man is really into you he's taking you out consistently I'm getting to know you in public places on dates he's probably gonna ask you within that first month to be exclusive I don't know if I mentioned this before but one of the men actually asked me on the first date after we had a couple of conversations and it was a couple weeks before we could see each other um i think we probably had like two or three conversations and i was traveling at the time he asked me to be exclusive on the first date um i believe my my husband did as well so absolutely do not accept somebody asking me to be exclusive or boyfriend girlfriend on the first date heck no and usually if you do that what's going to happen is that everything that they would have done for you taking you out getting to know you treating like a queen that's going to decline because they feel like they already have you even though boyfriend girlfriend is not a commitment exclusivity without being married is not a really a real commitment and i expressed that to my husband as well as we were dating i said i don't believe in boyfriend girlfriend he i think he called me his i think my mom called my boyfriend i said no he's not <laughs> um but he said that i was his like i was his woman and everything but you know, I explain my intentions and my goal, but exclusivity, a man should ask you to be exclusive. He pro or he probably will within a month. Um, and I'm not talking about if you're just like friends with somebody, getting some people as friends and then eventually he starts liking you. That's completely different. That relationship could, could be going on that it might've started off as a friendship, brother in Christ. And then eventually it, um, transitions. I'm talking about somebody's intentionally trying to pursue you and date you. He would have asked you to be exclusive with him within the first month. And I suggest you do not accept until possibly three months of knowing him or longer. And then you'll want to still continue to, to see him. And you would have already expressed your intentions for dating. If you're not in a place where you eventually want to get married or you want somebody to propose to you within a year from when you start dating and potentially be married within two to three years, there's no reason for you to be dating i should have said that from the beginning but just back to what i'm saying yes the man should or is likely going to ask you to be exclusive within the first month if he does not ask you within three months it is time for you to end the relationship and no there's nothing physical going on during this time you're getting to know him maybe hand holding could potentially be okay if you have self-control and discipline um but no prior to exclusivity nothing like that should be going on um so i would say even hand holding is a no if you're not exclusive with this person um but hopefully this helps so my suggestion to you is if a man has not tried to make you exclusive within three months you should end the relationship there's no real need for you to try to tell him well we're you know we're not exclusive we want to know like what's your intentions like where's this going because you would have had those conversations in terms of what your purpose of dating was well before that so he should know that your intention is to find a man for you uh you should know that his intention is to find a woman and for his life as well to marry and all those things so if most men can usually determine like within a week of getting to know you if you they could potentially see you as a wife um, so if within three months, not to say wife, but if within three months he hasn't decided that he only wants to see you, um, that is a no-no. And honestly, men, some men may think this is a bad thing, but I do not think a man should be pursuing one woman and dating others. So yes, the young lady, you are that one that they're trying to go after. Men are running after you. Um, you know what you you got that stuff right <laughs> so men are running after you they want to be with you they want to get to know you they can see you're a good woman they can see you have a lot to offer they can see having you by their side is going to make their life even better you are wholesome you are a good young lady you speak well you're not cussing at your mouth you look beautiful you put yourself together well and um 
he can trust you um there's gonna be people after you and you don't have to chase after any man like i said the man should be pursuing you and that's his job the man is the one he's the pursuer he pursues he pursues and he goes after what he wants so men if you're still here this is my point the pursuer you pursue you go 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 you try to get what you want how can you pursue a whole bunch of things at once? It doesn't make sense. You pursue and you go towards it. That's what a man is. That's what a leader is. He sees what he wants and he goes after it. If after that time period, let's say the man doesn't want to be with you even within that three months, he just sees not he sees it's not a good fit. That's okay. Don't feel mad at him. That is wonderful if that gentleman tells you, you know what, it's not a good fit. Like, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. getting to know you. Don't be upset. Don't be hurt. And mind you, you're just getting to know each other. So there's no really feelings in there. It's just getting to know people, seeing if it's a good fit, seeing if you're attracted to them, seeing if you would fit into each other's worlds. So um it's actually very um uh, gentlemanly if he tells you that you know it's not a good fit when it's not um and then young men that's okay for you to go now and pursue someone else um okay this lady is what i'm looking for let me go see how that goes let me date her for a while let me see if she's the one for me all right didn't work next one all right here's the one i want that's okay but men and women are completely different young ladies if you see that a man is trying to date a whole bunch of ladies at once eliminate yourself from that race you're not that's not what a woman is you know who you are you know what you're worth you don't have to be out here trying to trying to be in comp competition with other women absolutely not um it's okay if the man competes that's what they do men go and compete a race um a man should a man should really be proud if they go after what they want and they end up winning it i know my husband was happy um when i was in the process of making my decisions i know he he, he was like, you know, I, I never seen other people and stuff, but he's like, you know, if it, if it doesn't work out, like anyone else that you're seeing, or if it doesn't work out with us, like, and you want to pursue something else, like, I'm okay. Um, no, he said, like, I'm going to wait until you're, you're ready, you know. So, <laughs> um, I know this small thing about my husband, I love him, but yeah, you can have a great thing for your life but you just have to make sure you're taking the right steps do not let anyone make you a placeholder while they're dating a whole bunch of different women at once do not be waiting for six months or a year um as a man makes a decision about you and like two or three other girls no you're too good for that have the confidence that you need um have pride in yourself and if that person's not for you there's gonna be someone else for you have a wonderful day bye